Hey guys, so hope you guys are doing well. So today I am doing a video. This is a response to Miss Libra 1375, 1,000 punches every day for a month. Um, she's doing a thousand punches every single day for 30 days. So I'm so proud of you. And um, actually, as you can guess, especially by the way I'm dressed, that no, that is not what this video is about. But anyway, uh, Tiffany, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up. I look forward to your video on the 1,000 punches every single day. So I will have that video to look forward to every day and, you know, you'll inspire me. I actually went to the gym yesterday, which was Saturday at around 4 o'clock after I saw your video and everything, um, which is something I never do on a Saturday. But I usually don't go on Saturday anymore. So after seeing that, you actually inspired me to work out. So keep it up. I'm very proud of you. You know, it's all good. The real reason for this video is because of this right here. So yes, I finally did it. I finally got my keys into my new key holder. And if you have been following me for a while, you have seen my ugly stash of keys, which I absolutely hated. And And I've always wanted one of these, but I never thought that I could really get my keys in one. And I couldn't make up which kind I wanted and all that. So I finally got, you know, one. And I finally went through actually taking all the keys off and putting it in here. So this is the Prada key holder. And I purchased it in this light blue color. It's in the Safiano leather. The name of the color is called Anise and it was a limited color for Prada's winter collection of 2012. So like I said it's this nice light blue color and it has this emblem, this gold Prada Milano emblem on the front. So this is what this looks like with all of my keys inside and actually right now I don't normally um, use it like this with every single thing inside because as you can see it does close but it's pretty bulky and I don't like it like this um, it kinda puts a strain on the snaps even though it does close but I wouldn't wanna you know do it like that all the time so this actually has six key rings and they're in gold. So what I did was, um, I don't know, mostly, you know, a lot of the cars nowadays have these big remotes, which is basically what the problem is for trying to get all your keys into one of these things. So what I had to do was put some of the keys, um, you know, double up some of the keys, put two on one. And um, anyway, so that's what it looks like. So for instance, um, this is like a big car key. So I have one on this one. This one I have two. Yes, that is my Laker keychain. But um, yeah, we're not doing so good this year. But anyway, so this one has two on it. And then the next one just has one key on it. And then this one has two keys on one. And then this remote I just put by itself. And actually, I have an extra one, um, which actually I can take one of the ones that has two off and put it on there. And I now remember why I have this extra one. And that is because I originally had my loyalty cards and my gym cards on here so I opted to just take these off and put them in this little slot right here and I have two more on this side these are my gym cards so anyway 
I put those on the other side over there. And this pocket is actually good, like if you just want to rush out and like take a credit card, put a little cash in here, uh, run to the store or run inside the store, whatever. You have your keys and your credit card and a little bit of money in here. So they'll fit in like basically this pocket and you can put um, little things like I just showed you in here, this other pocket, and um this also you can put other things like a credit card or something behind here also so how i normally wear this i don't normally put this remote in here because that is basically the thing that causes it to be all big and bulky and put strain on the snaps so what i'd like to do is just have all of these keys in here and leave the remote out and then it snaps a lot easier and it looks a lot cleaner and I'm not so paranoid about it being all you know putting all this pressure on the snap closure so um, my car key kinda sticks out a little bit if you can see that but that's okay and then I can just keep like this remote out but that's okay with me um, you know it is what it is so that's the best I can do but I'm really happy that I'm not just carrying around that ugly um, hunk of metal anymore so I am going to Vegas this weekend going for a friend of mine's husband's birthday celebration so I'm just gonna hang out for the weekend and I hopefully will stay out of the shops there. Um, there is one accessory that I want. Actually, there's two. Um, the one of the bandos, which is the leopard print bando or the pink map bando. Um, the pink one I can no longer find on the website, the Louis Vuitton website. So I hope it's not been discontinued, but. Anyway, um, absolutely no bags, and my husband, Ken, he'll be with me, so of course he'll take care of that. Anyway, um, since it's Super Bowl weekend, um, just wondering who you guys are for for the Super Bowl, if you're into football or the Super Bowl. So whatever team you're for, leave me a comment below. Who knows, maybe I'll place a little bet or something, I don't know. I'm not really a gambling person, as I think I've mentioned on one of my other videos. Um, I just don't like putting my money down and then, I don't know, seeing it disappear and then I'm mad afterwards, like, oh my, you know, $100 is gone or something like that, you know. I'm the kind of person that if I put something down and I won like $50 or $25, then I'm good for the rest of the whole trip and I'm good to go. I'm not one of them, you know, just keep going and keep going and lose $500, $1,000 or something because then I'm mad because then all my money is gone and I don't know. That's just the way that I am. But anyway, um, so who knows, maybe I'll film a little bit in Vegas, maybe, maybe not. Um, other people here are not on YouTube so, you know, I always respect people's privacy and who knows what's gonna happen um as you know the old saying what happens in vegas stays in vegas so we'll just have to see all right you guys have a great weekend and a great next week and i'll see you next time bye